I've been sick for the most part of January. Not a great way to spend the new year, so let's get outside and explore in the desert. So, we have all these abandoned buildings out here in the middle of nowhere. I remember years ago you could see a lot of uh, houses. There was a particular house that had a swing on the porch. Over the years, you figure you don't see them anymore. So let's explore. All these mines, I won't get too close because they freak me out. All these empty buildings. Nothing but desert. It's crazy. Let's see. And I just got intertwined in some wire. Oh my goodness. So there's a lot of history out here. I've lived here for many years, but I never schooled myself. But these are the buildings that are just here, abandoned, left alone. Atolia, California. wood <laughs> what the way wood prices are like I'm not gonna get too close because these things freak me out I'll let the camera get close for you yeah see there's no uh, closure there somebody opened it so forget that shit just all kinds of stuff out here Abandoned. I'm sure they worked out here at one time. Years ago. What year? Who knows? It's just abandoned. Little abandoned buildings, shacks, whatever you want to call them. They're just I don't know if you can see inside. Just a bunch of different shacks. I guess people did they live in them? When they were mining years ago? How many years ago? I'm gonna have to Google that. I have to check it out and do some research on this. Who knows? Maybe I'll do it when I edit the video so I can add that stuff in here.
cowboy. <laughs> It's like a dock. <gasps> yeah, it is a dock. Yep, that's what I heard earlier. And here's another abandoned place. It's all super close to each other. It's like a little commune. I guess it's one of the neighbors. They all lived here go to work. And you can, in this one, it's just the areas of stuff. Tolia, California, per Google, date settled was 1906. Peak population was over 2,000. The primary mineral was tungsten. If you drive a couple miles north, you'll go through Red Mountain, California, and you'll pass the historic Owl Cafe. It's a little museum that you can check out. A little further, you have the Silver Dollar Saloon. My brother was a cook there until he died in 2005, shortly after they closed. <laughs> 